Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm actually on my way to go get my laser hair removal for the first time on my face. And I'm extremely, extremely excited. I've been wanting this for years. And I thought that I would just document the process for you guys. Because when I was kind of like looking up on YouTube, other girls' experiences... And kind of what to expect. I feel like there wasn't enough videos um, that kind of just went in depth of the entire process. So I felt like I could just share mine. Um, and maybe somebody could learn. And, you know, it could encourage somebody that's been wanting to do this for a long time to get it done themselves. This is my first time getting it done. So I kind of just want to tell you guys um, the prices, um, what to do prior to the appointment, at least for what was told on my, like my laser tech, what she told me not to do. And the aftermath. So if you guys want to see my laser hair journey, um, then keep watching. So I'm going. I have the information right here from the place that I'm going to get my laser hair removal done. And these are kind of the things that the key points that were told to me to avoid um, two weeks prior to my first laser hair removal um, and it was just basically any form of tanning waxing or hair plucking um, avoid doing anything that darkens the skin such as like um, tanning um, or like spray tanning or any type of artificial products that could tan um, or make you darker um, and then also avoid like any um, extreme sun exposure I was told to do that prior two weeks prior to avoid any sun um, and then avoid any harsh products um, or any harsh skin products such as like acne lotions, um, retinols, glycolic acid. And then of course there's certain medications that if you do take them, they are photosensitivity. They have photosensitivity. I don't know exactly what that means or how that might affect the laser. Um, but it says basically anything like antibiotics or any... Um, serious medications you kind of have to consult with your doctor prior to getting the laser so I made sure that I did not um, get sun well any harsh sun obviously in the past two weeks I didn't use any harsh chemicals I'm going to put a picture up here of the products that I've been using for the past two weeks um, that are just regular cleansers regular lotions to just make sure that I'm on the safe side and I don't do any tanning so I basically just did and follow these steps two weeks prior to my session so last night um, I was told that I was supposed to shave my entire face and all I'm getting done, you guys, I'm not getting done up here because, um, you know, I want to keep whatever little hairs I have up here just because when I do get my eyebrows done, they kind of use those hairs to um, shape my eyebrows. But what I basically did, I just took off like the little um, peach fuzzies that I have on my cheek and we are going to be doing my mustache and yeah, just basically my cheeks and my mustache and that is it. In terms of pricing... I want to mention the place that I that I'm getting my um, laser done but I want to ask them if I could record prior and I don't know if they kind of want to keep that confidential um, so if I can't I will let you guys know where I went but I paid there was like a special and I paid let me pull up my credit card real quick so I could tell you guys exactly how much I paid because I feel like when I was looking this up people wasn't talking about prices like how much are we talking about? Are we talking about 200, 300, 400? Like, what are we talking about? So, let's see right here. How much did I pay for this? Okay, so I paid $279 for eight sessions. And typically, at least what the, the lab, the... I keep saying lab tech what the laser tech told me is that um, you would typically need anything from 8 to 12 sessions so I paid 279 for 12 cents and then depending on you know my hair growth or how the process goes for me we're gonna keep adding sessions or I might be good with eight sessions but I'm gonna keep you guys updated like I want to keep following up on this um, so you guys can really see the actual process and you know at least there's some more informative videos out there for girls to kind of have a reference on what to expect 
all right but i believe that this is all the information that i have i'm going to put all of the stuff that i used um and that i've been using for the past two weeks then again you guys i am not an esthetician i'm not a, a laser tech i have no prior knowledge to any of this i'm just sharing my personal experience and the stuff that i've been doing so if you do plan on getting this done just do your research ask your questions and you know just use this video as a little reference if you would like and kind of give you guys an idea of what to expect but i will see you guys at my laser hair appointment well, if it's too much for you just let me know i'll do a couple of pulses i'll pause and you let me know how it is okay, okay perfect and if your face is still wet that's Okay, that's fine. Okay, I was like, I'm over here trying to dry it off. No, you're okay. Ooh, I'm scared. Maybe? Mm-hmm. It doesn't feel like anything. It literally feels like warm. Like yeah. a little warm. Mm -hmm. It smells like when you're um straining your hair. Yeah. It smells like burnt hair. Burnt hair. I like to call it the smell of success. <laughs> Oh my god, this is nothing. Like if you get waxed, this is this doesn't even feel like anything. Yeah, it's awesome. Now is it gonna increase as we keep going like the pain? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah, like I said, I started off easy. Um usually you will get a reduction after the first okay. treatment, but we do like to go up just so we can get better results. Girl, as <laughs> as long as this hair is gone. Maybe it's pain. Yeah, I don't even care. I was epilating before this. Listen, it's a little machine that has like 20 tweezers and it's tweezing all your hairs at once, like putting them one by one. And the pain was just too much. I was like, I can't do this forever, yeah. you know? Yeah, no. But this is literally like nothing. Oh my god that was literally all right you guys so i just got back home and i finished my laser hair removal and let me just say my technician she was amazing she was so nice she was so informative um she was just the sweetest girl ever and 
I had the best experience ever. These are my results. Um, yeah, like literally nothing. Like my skin looks the absolute same. Right after the visit, um, she did give me um a little like paper. My lips are so dry right now. She gave me like a little paper that just told me everything that I had to do um for the post care and i also bought a sunscreen from them let me show you guys real quick so i bought this um skin um a sunscreen from them and it was 50 dollars. but i mean you gotta pay what you gotta pay it's your face at least for me i didn't care if it was a hundred dollars because it's my face and i want to make sure that i'm taking care of it um while i'm in the process of getting this treatment done so yeah you guys this was my experience i'm going to keep you guys updated on how i like it and yeah i'm just super happy and excited i got it done i don't know why my mouth is looking so gray right now you guys i need to like do something with my with this look but thank you so much for watching if you liked it and you learned something or if you have any questions like just leave it down in the comments below we could chat um and yeah i'll see you guys on my next video bye